Welcome to this comprehensive tutorial on setting up SSH, tunneling between two Linux computers for secure remote access with VNC. This guide will take you through each step of the process to ensure that your connection remains confidential and your data is secure. Before we jump into the setup, let's briefly understand why SSH tunneling is crucial for secure remote access. It's a robust method that guarantees the confidentiality and integrity of your data during transmission. To begin, we'll need to set up the Tiger VNC server on one of our Linux machines. We'll follow the instructions outlined in the video titled Remote Access of a Fedora Desktop Using VNC. We are assuming that the Tiger VNC Viewer program is already installed in our client machine and our client machine is based on Fedora 38. However our server machine is based on Fedora 39, IP of the server and client machines are 192.168.29.249 and 192.168.29.111 respectively. It's essential to ensure that both of your computers are on the same network and can communicate with each other. We'll demonstrate this by pinging each computer. Now, let's dive into the SSH tunneling setup. We'll establish a secure connection between the two Linux machines. The command $SSH abarman at 192.168.29.249 L5908 colon 127.0.0.1 colon 5901 is used to establish an SSH tunnel between your local machine and a remote server, allowing you to securely access services running on the remote server as if they were running on your local machine. Let's break down the command. $SSH, this is the command to initiate an SSH, secure shell, connection, which is a secure protocol for accessing remote servers. A barman at 192.168.29.249, this part of the command specifies the username, a barman, and the IP address, 192.168.29.249, of the remote server to which you want to connect. You'll need to replace a barman with the actual username you use on the remote server and 192.168.29.249 with the server's actual IP address. L5908 to 127.0.0.1 to 5901, this is the crucial part of the command, specifying the port forwarding or tunneling configuration. It consists of two parts separated by a colon. 5908, this is the local port number on your local machine. Any traffic sent to this port on your local machine will be forwarded through the SSH tunnel to the remote server. 127.0.0.1, this is the destination address on the remote server's side, which is typically the loopback address, localhost. In this case, it points to the remote server itself. 5901, this is the port on the remote server to which the traffic from your local machine will be forwarded. It's important to note that this corresponds to the VNC, Virtual Network Computing, server's port on the remote server. So, when you run this SSH command, it establishes a tunnel that listens on port 5908 on your local machine. Any traffic sent to this port on your local machine is encrypted and forwarded to port 5901 on the remote server, 192.168.29.249. This is commonly used for securely accessing VNC services on a remote server as if they were running locally, in this case, VNC on port 5901 of the remote server accessible on your local machine at port 5908. To verify the SSH tunnel, we'll use two important commands, netstat to view active connections and telnet to test the tunnel's functionality. Type VNC password. 
With the SSH tunnel in place, it's time to connect to the VNC server using Tiger VNC Viewer. This is where the magic happens, and you'll gain remote access to your Linux machine. Also you can access it from the menu. As an extra bonus, we'll also cover the installation and usage of Real VNC Viewer, an alternative for VNC remote access. On the client machine, we need to install the Real VNC Viewer. Download it from the Real VNC site. Now, connect to localhost with port number 5908. Type VNC password. Wow! It's working! Thank you for joining us on this journey to set up SSH, tunneling for remote access with VNC on Linux. We hope this tutorial has been informative and helpful. If you found this video useful, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing it with others. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, happy secure remote access!